the Guilford superintendent is making a hard push to increase supplemental pay for teachers. That's the portion paid by local taxes. Despite having the third largest school system in the state, Guilford County ranks 13th when it comes to supplemental pay. In an online meeting, the superintendent explains why she believes increasing teacher pay is so important. The strongest educational research finding in the last 20 years is that the quality of a teacher is the single greatest in-school determinant of student outcomes. Wake and Mecklenburg counties lead North Carolina in teacher supplements at nearly $9,000 a year. Guilford County's teacher supplement is less than $5,000 a year. Uh, if you go to Wake and work as a teacher, you make $4,000 more a year. That's that's uh, big money compared to the salaries that we're, we're making uh, right now. And so it's, it's a significant issue. For Guilford County to be great, our public schools have to be great. And a decade of underfunding um, has really done us no favors. One school board member, Linda Wellborn, questions the need to compete with Mecklenburg and Wake Counties. Much higher. And I'm not saying we don't need to increase. I am saying that there is a difference in the cost of living. Wellborn suggests comparing Guilford's teacher supplement to Forsyth County, where the cost of living is more comparable. Forsyth also pays its teachers more supplemental pay than Guilford County, nearly $700 a year more. The superintendent answered Wellborn's concerns about cost of living differences with this response. I think the issue we face is that teachers can drive to all of these locations to work. And so it's one of the reasons that we're struggling to hire is because they can drive to Charlotte to work. They can drive to Durham. And this is a significant difference. The bottom line is the Guilford schools are seeking a significant budget increase from the county. The difference this year, Democrats control the Board of Commissioners for the first time in a long time. In Greensboro, Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.